Hey, it's Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Thanks for joining us outside where the coronavirus can get me, hopefully. Speaking of hopefully, hopefully in the next week or two, Tyler and I will be able to shoot some new content and new videos for you guys. But thanks for joining us in the meantime. Hope you're staying uh, healthy. And, you know, one of the things that I kind of lose track of a lot is time. But did you know that steam can help tell time? Well, we shot an episode a few years ago on the Gastown Steam Clock. I think you're really going to enjoy this. So have a look. Tune back with us next Friday. Uh, we'll put something out for you. And I look forward to seeing you then. Just me and my main man, Chipper. What's up? See you next week. Can steam tell time? Well, the answer to that is it can help tell time because this week I'm going to tell you about the steam powered clock. Now, if you go Google steam powered clock, you're going to find some examples. Probably the, the most well documented and noted is the Gastown steam clock in Vancouver, Canada. There's also one in Japan. Um, there is uh, one in New Jersey. There's one in Australia that's fairly new. There's also one in the great state of Indiana, our neighbor to the north in Indianapolis. It is not functioning. There's also one in Chelsea Market, which is not functioning. So go Google that and you'll find them. Now this one in uh, Vancouver was really built in 1974 by a guy named Raymond Saunders and it was a revitalization effort for uh, that area of town. And it's pretty neat. Now, try as I may, I could not find a great working diagram or specifications on how it worked that you know would be easy to understand in a video. So in the link, you will find a description of the different mechanisms that make the clock work. All right, so the clock is really a pendulum clock, and it's driven by a chain and weighted ball system. So lots of uh, belts and sprockets like you might see on a bicycle. At the heart of it is a single expansion steam engine, runs on about 17 pounds of pressure that they receive from the municipal steam system that runs underneath the sidewalk. Now, the steam is responsible for winding the weight on the clock and providing the steam for the steam whistle chimes that are on top, which go off every hour to signal the hour, but also play different kinds of songs and music and stuff like that. Now, there was a precursor to these steam clocks, and it's back in 1859, a gentleman invented this thing that would sit above his door in his tavern. It was connected to a small boiler, and he was fascinated with steam, so he wanted to show how this would work. The steam would come out and condense on a plate, and when the plate weighed enough, it would drop, sort of like a float mechanism, and trigger uh, the clock to run. So that was the precursor. I did find that. I thought it was pretty interesting. So there you go. If you didn't know before that steam was used to help tell time, you do now because you watch Steam Culture. So go Google the steam clock, and while you're out there, find us because we have content for you each and every week. I'm going to go back in my office and work on something for next week. So thanks for tuning in. See you then.